Because to me, pods are going to replicate and deepen the process of exclusion rather than inclusion. The belief held by Principal and Chief Executive Officer of the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College in St. Lucia, Dr. Keith Nurse. Dr. Nurse compared the carnival pods, which are elevated and sectioned platforms for party goers, to the ropes which were reintroduced in carnival bands in the 80s and 90s. Back then, ropes separated the middle class from the working class during carnival events. Um, the people who are involved in administering carnival, managing carnival, know very little about the history, know very little about the trends and patterns in the contemporary. And so, by and large, we are shooting blanks in the dark. And, um, and that's where the issue of policy evolving from strategy is absent. As industry experts weighed in on Carnival 2022 and beyond, Managing Director of Eventology TT, Derek Lewis, provided a private sector perspective of what events may look like in a post-pandemic future. He said smaller events will grow, but traditional Carnival fets will be phased out. Mr. Lewis also anticipated low attendance at events by the unvaccinated public. So you'd have maybe 25% of people not attending for those reasons. Yeah. Uh, there'll also be higher ticket prices. Higher ticket prices because it's based on the increase in the protocols, the event manpower that's needed for it, uh, the technology needed, uh, the testing before the event, it's going to be more expensive. It's probably going to be between 30 and 50 percent at minimum. Assistant Professor at the Academy of Arts and Culture at the University of Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. Keela Francis, believed people need to separate culture and tradition for carnival to survive. So when the needs of the society changes, the culture will evolve. If we hold on and we fight for a traditional form versus the function of that tradition, we're going to kill the culture. Because the young people are going to ask old people thing, and they're not going to engage in it, participate it, um, love it, and expand it. Meanwhile, Another expert believed a rigorous risk-based approach should be considered when deciding to host any mass gathering or carnival event. Kimberly D'Souza, TTT News.